Hello there, Sawana T here. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, welcome, and you can subscribe by hitting the button below. Also, you can hit the bell so if I, when I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. Here on my YouTube channel, I talk about self-love, self-care, and just developing a better relationship with yourself. So the other day, I did a video on self-sabotage, what it is and how it shows up in our lives. And I talked about one of the reasons, which is your, self of, your sense of self-congruence is off, or another term used is cognitive dissonance. So if you'd like to watch that video, you can click the link below. So I'm going to continue with self-sabotage behaviors, and I'm going to talk about another one, which is vulnerability avoidance. So in order to go through things, in order to get the things that we want in life, in order to achieve our goals, in order to reach milestones, we have to go through some things. And going through those things takes us out of our comfort zone. It relinquishes our control. But we're human. And we are control freaks and control addicts. Oh my goodness. We want to control the fish. We want to control how the fish swim. We want to control what the dog does. We want to control what the cat does. You want to control me. I want to control you. We want to control the wind. I mean, you get my trip, right? We want to control things. Why? Because it makes us feel safe. But with that, feeling safe, we stay stuck. So in order to have and to attain the things that are most fulfilling in our lives, the things that bring us the most joy, the things that are the most meaningful and are very important to us, we have to take risks. And taking those risks means we have to step out of our comfort zone. And stepping out of that comfort zone makes us feel vulnerable. And that causes a lot of us fear because now we're scared. We're scared that it may not work out. We're scared that we may look stupid. We're afraid that it may cause us discomfort. And most important, we're afraid that we'll get hurt. And then we'll have to deal with that pain and that disappointment. So it keeps us stuck in certain behaviors. And so consciously, we'll tell ourselves, you know, this is too much. You know, this is too difficult. I don't want to take this risk. And we kind of step back away from things. Or subconsciously, we start telling ourselves it's not going to work out. We start telling ourselves that it's too much. Why are you doing this? You start questioning everything. And in your mind, those excuses, we rationalize to reasons. And then we stay stuck in the same kind of behavior patterns and, and never get to fully achieve what we really want. So what this usually tell, tells us is that deep down inside we don't really feel that we're worthy of having that great romantic relationship or even those great friendships or we don't deserve or are worthy of reaching heights in our career career that we can't even imagine that's so beyond us like we don't feel worthy of that or we don't feel worthy of being healthy, happy, and fit. So we just avoid it and because we don't want to feel vulnerable. So I hope this video helped you to recognize maybe some things in yourself or people around you, your loved ones. And I hope the information here in this video was helpful. Um, down at the bottom, I have a self-love quiz. So see where you stand. You'll be surprised. Also, 
in order to get into the routine of getting to know who you are um, and having a better relationship with yourself, I do, you know, it's important that we have routines. So I do follow a routine and I attached it in the link below as well. So grab the information. I hope it's helpful to you. Um, again, subscribe and click the, um, the bell so that when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. So, bye for now.